Hey Libra, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? So let's take a little peek at the weekend of the Memorial Day weekend, May 26, 27, and 28. Let's see what the energies we have over here. Here's one coming out. Strength card, Libra. Strength card. Talking about just being strong, being gentle, being okay with what is. Being okay with what is. It's a good card. The strength looks differently in different people. It's not always that aggressive, powerful strength that people think. It, I mean, powerful is it can be gentle and quiet. You know, just an in, internal strength. And it also talks about forgiving people. It takes the stronger party to forgive, bless and release. Let's see what else is going on this weekend for Libra. My friend's Libra. What else you got going on? Ooh. It's super windy right now, so I'm trying not to let my cards blow away, but I'm asking the wind to assist. And you got the Ace of Fire, Libra. The Ace of Fire is a beautiful card, a new adventure, a new opportunity for you to... Um, I don't know... Have a new endeavor, a new adventure, a new creative uh, opportunity, maybe with other people, coupled with the strength card. It's really nice. Like you're going to have an opportunity to show your gifts, to release your inner self, to release as and express yourself, right? And that way you can just be free, be free to do what it is you want to do that you're feels really good. So this weekend, be mindful of what's being offered you. It's a new opportunity. It's a new opportunity to express yourself in creative ways. It can be painting, it can be dancing, it can be like joining a group, a play group, a theater group. Something that feels true to you, that you can express yourself, right? And bless other people in the, in the, during this. I mean, how much joy could you get out of that? So, okay, you kind of have two jumped out at the same time. So the last two cards you're going to get is the six of the air and the knight of the air. So Libra, this makes me feel like you're going to be traveling and you're moving forward. You're moving forward for sure. If not physically traveling somewhere this weekend, but also uh, the night of communication. If something is coming in really quickly fast communication, and uh, yeah, it's like you're going to find something, either you're going to meet this person, a knight, this very intelligent, articulate, very decisive, decisive, um, you know, he's like a problem solver, this guy, problem solver, he's quick to give advice, he's just quick, he's quick-minded, he's sharp-minded, so I don't know. You may meet this, meet this person, you already know this person, I don't know. Could be a reflection of you, that you might need to make quick decisions this weekend. And it's talking about moving forward. So you may need to decide something very on the fly. Like, okay, we're doing this, boom. That comes with this opportunity. So you may need to make this decision quick. It might be just like a once in a lifetime, you're going to come, you want to do this or not. Let me know. That's exciting. So just, and I know that you're a quick thinker. Just be, be open to see what happens this weekend, okay? Because it sounds like it could be interesting. It could be fun. It's not, just do a quick check-in before you make rash decisions. Like, oh, does this feel good? Does this feel good to me? And then yes or no. That's, it's pretty simple. It's yes or no, does it feel good? And then if it's for my highest best and the highest best of all. Yeah, if it matches those two, if it meets that criteria, it could be a yes. 